Hi, my name is Carmen and welcome to the New Leaf Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to attempt a little, <laughs> something a little bit crazy. Um, I have just done my end of year um, roundup of works in progress that I have. Uh, whips for short, works in progress. Uh, and I have a grand total of 25 works in progress. <laughs> Of which one is a punch needle project, but the rest is all knitting and crochet. I have them all here. <sighs> and yes, I am going to attempt something a little bit crazy. I want to finish as many whips as I can. Finish or frog. Frogging means to rip it out completely. Um, to finish or frog as many whips as I can in 24 hours. It is now a quarter past 3 p.m. on a Thursday, so tomorrow, 3.15 p.m., I'm going to uh, <laughs> turn on the camera again and show you what, what I got. Um, I have a fair bit, a fair amount of projects on here that are almost finished. Uh, I have some amigurumi projects that I think won't take long. I have some socks that only need heels. And the reason why they've taken this long is because I still haven't decided who they're for. So that's why I haven't decided the heel placement yet. Um, yes, and more things like that. So I'm going to put my audiobook on. With my headphones, I am going to let this project distract me from December madness, I'm sure you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, and let's get this started. I am going to finish a hat project first, which is um, just a stock net hat with chunky yarn, yeah, um, it shouldn't take me too long. So, how many of those 25 works in progress can I delete from my list in 24 hours? <sighs> I'm really excited about this. I do, I do want to say, usually I'm not a big fan of um, boasting about one's productivity. Um, I... I see lots of videos like, oh, I, I knit my dream sweater in a weekend, or I, um, I sewed this capsule wardrobe in a week, and I'm, I'm not a big fan of that um, fast fashion-esque producing of items. But um, yeah, this is just a fun challenge for me that I want to do, and because these are already projects that I have chosen to do. They're not something I do on a whim. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I do realize there's not much, it's not, it's not a lot different from, from those other videos, but um, yes, let's see. So I'm going to get started with my hat and I'll report back to you. It's 4.15 and I have finished the first project. <laughs> the second work in progress is off the needles. I only had to add the afterthought heels and I finished those last night. Now for the reindeer. That was one of my designs for Yarn Folk Bookazine. And I designed the reindeer and a pair of socks here. Uh, so it is available in the bookazine but also on the Ravelry as a separate um, pattern. And I have the body and 
some detail for the face. And now it's on to the rest. Right, it is 24 hours after I um, shut off my camera yesterday and I have completed the hat which I started during a workshop and really it is very chunky yarn uh, so it was very easy to finish. I finished it within the hour. Um, and this is Escapee's Chunky Monkey, by the way. It is very, um, it is a very beginner-friendly yarn, as it's very, very thick. Um, then I went on to the Afterthought heels on these socks. I don't really know when I started these socks. It was years ago, to be sure, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and they have a cable running down the side. I'll put it on a blocker for you so you can see it better. <laughs> the infuriating thing about this project was that I know I have the same yarn somewhere. <laughs> um, but I couldn't find it, so I just picked some other yarn to to knit the heels with. Um, I know both both yarns are West Yorkshire spinners um, so at least it's a match in fiber and it kind of looks nice this combination but I would have liked to um, finish it with the same yarn so here are the socks and the cable is a little mock cable uh, so it's made by decreasing three stitches into one and then increasing it into three stitches again and that's how you get this cable. So yes, pretty happy that I finished these. I plan on gifting these for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's one gift knit done. Um, so, and that is my second whip finished. The third one, I haven't finished. Um, I have finished crocheting all of the parts of the little reindeer. I finished the embroidery, but now I still have to attach the arms. I have to stuff the body and sew it shut and then attach the legs. Um, so I haven't finished that completely but I will um, I will finish it up now instead of um, putting it off for another year. Um, so yeah I think it's pretty cute. Uh, oh and I still need to sew the ribbon on there. While I was assembling the parts I did uh, come to the realization that the one ear is smaller than the other ear. But I think you can only see it if you, if you know it. So, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I was distracted during the second ear and continued in a different part of the pattern I think um, yeah it's really cute um, so if you want to make that I'll, um, 
I'll include the Ravelry link below. Um, all of these are actually my own design. This is the same amount of stitches as the Fin Hat, if you're really desperate to make this one now. Um, but I am planning on writing it up because this is just a really, really simple hat. And if you know the Fin Hat, um, it's also on seven and eight millimeter needles, but it has fair aisle. Uh, so it, it, it's, uh, it might be a little bit intimidating for new knitters, whereas this one is a perfect beginner project. So, um, and I wanted to finish off by taking another look at my whip list and seeing how many crochet versus knitting projects are on there and how many uh, of my own design projects are on there versus uh, patterns from other designers that I knit or make. I always like color coding so for this one I'll use green as uh, for the knitting projects and purple for the um, crochet projects and then I have one punch needle project so <laughs> okay so you can clearly see what I enjoy more um, most of them are knitting projects so out of the 25 I have one two three four five six crochet projects um, and one is punch needle so I have 18 knitting projects out of the 25 <laughs> right Okay, I finished marking which ones are my own design and which are uh, someone else's design. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of my own design. Uh, of which some of them are just simply socks or, you know, blanket squares. Um, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, each are by other designers so yay that's that's pretty balanced so <laughs> it's a riot of color right now um so i have finished two uh whips in 24 hours and i bet i will finish this reindeer within the next hour or so. So yeah, that was pretty nice. And I, I even, I didn't um, crochet knit for the whole evening. I even did some board games. So it's not that I knit and crocheted nonstop. Um, so that was a pretty nice challenge for myself. And it, yes, it was nice to get some older projects off the needles because um, yeah, usually you're just focused on what you're working on right now. Uh, and this one, I'm sure has been around for two Christmases, two Christmases already. Um, and this one for sure. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty nice. Uh, so I can go and update those Ravelry project pages. Um, do let me know if you want how many works in progresses you have and if you would like to do a 24-hour challenge for yourself as well let me know in the comments uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time bye bye